say they've been two seed into first first and half. Uh, uh, He's trapped in the vehicle. I don't know where I'm going. First and Humphrey. I'm, I'm taking the 10 uh, east. Where am I going? We have a CHP officer trapped in his vehicle. A hit and run driver just hit him. Yeah, where? First and Eastern. I got it. Yeah, I copy. I took the 10, so I'm going to take, uh, actually I might take Eastern. Yeah, and I'm going to get off here. Yeah, I'll get off Eastern and I'll take Eastern South instead of jumping on the 710. Uh, yeah, I copy where they are. First and Eastern 45 is, uh, Suspect uh, that hit him. Looks like they uh, they took foot bail. They took off. So, yes, there is. Yes, there is outstanding suspect. So it's Eastern, half a mile. I think we have to be here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're gonna we're gonna go straight down Eastern over here, and that's gonna put us right uh, where I think we need to be. Uh, Alright. Hey, nice, they got a plate. They got a plate on a suspect vehicle. I think that's CHP. There's a vehicle sitting in the middle of the street. I just want to see if we have any outstanding suspects yes. in this area. Yes, he fled on foot. Oh, okay. He said that somebody possibly took off. They're not, they're not sure. Oh, come on, guys. I'm sorry, can you turn mine the last traffic, let's please? Let's go, let's go. I copy those parties on the northeast corner. All right, I'm not sure if they took off or not. He thinks they did, but he's, he is trapped in the uh, he is trapped in the vehicle, so we're going to get our butts down there. Eric 21, I believe nobody's uh, up against it. All right, so nobody's outstanding. Well, we have a deputy, uh, just your officer. Also, we have deputies uh, going and uh, contacting the parties up on the northwest corner. Okay, so he, it sounded like he thought that they hit him and took off, but they they might have not. It, it might not be a hit and run. It still sounds like a bad crash. Airship's overhead right in front of us. All right, 45 is going code 6, uh, first and eastern on a uh, CHP involved traffic collision. And I'll be, uh, I'll be rolling up momentarily. Uh, yeah, Sheriff, sir, here. Stand by. We good? Fire's here. Cool, go, 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 go. And we're gonna be, CHP's rolling up. can you advise if Baldwin Park should continue and you want CHP air to continue? Alrighty.
you guys I got both of you talking to me at the same time. Okay. Where are you guys Go taking back. it to? All the way down there. To the next street, Michigan? This is just a car crash, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just a car crash. Yes. Okay. Well, you're seeing a car crash. Right, but it's not it's not a crime scene is what okay, I'm saying. Well, they're going to make it a crime scene. So you speak to it. Okay. Go across the street, stay on the sidewalk. I don't want to get in my new vehicle. No, I understand. I want to go over there, though. No, I just want to get out of the way. Don't cross the street. That's illegal. So stay on the sidewalk. So I can't use a crosswalk. No, you, need to, you need to go down this way. I'm trying to do my job and you guys are bugging me. I don't understand why you're bothering me. Do I have a camera? <laughs> I don't understand. That way. Thank you. I don't understand. Here, I'll grab this one. I'll grab this one. So you guys, you guys want to go all the way down the street because I have because I have a camera. You want to take oh, me down the street? To everybody, everyone's everybody. going, not only you. That's not a crime scene. There's people with cell phones over there. We're gonna push them. I just want to say that there's people with cell phones over there filming, and you're talking to me because I have this and I work for the news. I don't understand why you're harassing me as a news photographer when those people have their cell phones. You guys are so full of shit. It's unreal. Good for you. You're full of shit. Thank you. I really appreciate. No. Thank you. I really you're make you're with me as a news photographer really doing my job. I feel bad about the chippy, okay? But sir. I'm doing my job. Yes, sir. Okay. We need to I don't understand. Michigan, There's no crime scene. Yes, sir. This we isn't need, part of a yes, crime sir. scene we at all. To, we need you to go back to Michigan, sir. Just telling you, you guys are full of shit. That's all. Sheriffs are such idiots, it's unbelievable. It's a car crash. It's not a crime scene. guys are so full of shit, it's coming out their eyes. Unbelievable. All right. It's not a crime scene, it's a car crash. All those people standing out there, not a single problem. And then because we have, sorry, because we have a camera, now we're gonna be told, oh, we can't be here. I feel bad about the chippy, of course, but my God, it's not a crime scene. I'm sorry about the delay. That 27-year FPV is a valid class Charles. You guys are so full of shit. It's unbelievable. Hmm. What do we think? This side or the other side? There's like 50 people over here. <laughs> There's so many people over here. I'm missing transport right now. Great. That's great. Unbelievable.
6 Eastern out of the vehicle, getting uh, extrication. like this with us? Just in general, we usually tip off when you guys know. LAPD is so cool with us, CHP is so awesome, and every time we come to the sheriff's area, I think, we have to deal with these guys. No offense. <laughs> but over there, I know it's not a crime scene, it's a car crash, I know CHP is involved. To do my job, if you need me to go back a little, that's fine, I'm completely out of the way. I'm probably going to take it to where it says 25. I'm sure you're just, you guys just And then the fire away. truck's in the way, and then I'm gonna have to get in my car and drive around to the other side, and it's like I can't do my job. And I, all I wanna do is my job as a news photographer. Me, that's the last thing I wanna do is, keep, keep. is there a sergeant over here that I could talk to? Because the guys over there were being real dicks to me. They you pushed me back, and there's no. no and I'm not getting you in no, trouble no, at all. No. I just. You can, I could get one for you, but I gotta do this part first. Can I go to the other side? Can I go down there? I'm just gonna go after. I know, this anywhere part. I go, you're gonna, they're gonna call it's me just, with the this, tape. This area right here. I just don't understand. It's really, it's really fr And again, it's CHP's scene because it's their crash, and CHP hasn't talked to me once. Yeah, but this is our well, area. But it's their incident. It's hey, Sarge. Area. Hey. For now, Sarge, just do me a favor. I gotta get. Here. No, I understand. I just, no, I again, I'm gonna have to get in my car and go to the other side, and it's just then you're then you're gonna come over there and push me back to the crust of the hill, and it's like, yeah. it's really frustrating, guys. I can't even think, 25. You guys see where the people are on the side? Can I go over there? Yeah, but then ultimately I'm gonna end up pushing those people over Wherever you guys can get a good angle from. All right, I guess we gotta go around completely the other side now. I don't know why they don't want us to do our job. What are we gonna see? That, that we can't see <clears throat> as a press photographer in the United States. What, what is so, what is so heinous that we can't see something? All right, well, I guess we're going to the other side. But it's our area. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's a CHP handle. And uh, again, we'll go to the other side. There's still, there's still time and it's just, uh, it's more of just an annoyance than anything. Cause like I said to him, every agency we deal with is super cool. LAPD would be like, hey man, just hang out on the sidewalk, stay where you're at. I'd say, great, thank you, sounds good. And then every time we go and deal with the sheriffs, I think, these guys are such I don't understand it. Question is, how do we get over there now? Uh, oh, can we get to the other side there? Oh, we might be able to. It's basically at the intersection. We might be able to get to the right and then around. This is like really annoying. He was nice though. The, the big guy, the two-striper? Yeah, I guess. He's very nice, but it's still, it's like, why are they following? Everywhere we went, not, I'm not being crazy, right? Everywhere no, we they, went, they, they then like the tape showed sought up. us out. Like, they were going to leave all those people alone. Right. So, now we have to go all the way over here. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, now we're on this side. We can't, and we go over there, they're going to get, they're going to go. On, I think first tree on the east, east of Eastern, where are you at? Well, I've, I, every time I change spots, the sheriff's put up more tape. So I'm coming around to, uh, uh, I'm coming around to first, I have to go all the way to first from Ford and then come west. So I, if you're over there, that's where I'm going. It's just really frustrating because, again... Yeah, so right now they just transported one, but I didn't get that. Great. Yeah, over here, Great. You get a good shot, of course. Yeah, so it looks like they're working on another one. Get him out the driver's side. 
Again, I was not allowed to do my job here, so I'm I'm coming around the other side. And again, I don't know what is what is us as a as a news photographer being there going to do. We're out of the way. We're completely where we need to be. And every other incident that we go to with every other agency, we're totally fine. And then we deal with a uh, a sheriff's incident, and now all of a sudden it's like you know we're getting getting harassed. What? I'm not running lights. I swear. <laughs> Things flashing. It's just, it's a little bit, um, I don't know, we're going. It's a little bit frustrating, so it is what it is. 331, are you, uh, were you saying you wanted to handle this or, or no? Because uh, I, I was saying I was code six, but if you're, uh, are you handling? What's going on? I don't know why he's here. We're both here. Cheers, I'm just here just to get some other fire for you. Competition showing up. Well, they're going to be, I think I'm pulling it behind you and whoever else is there. So, okay. Yeah, I'll see you in a second. I don't know. I'll yours. I'm just here just getting Oh, let's go over here. How annoying. Why they're like that? Yeah. Huh? Why well, you never seen a car before? guys, man. Uh, I, I, as soon as I heard them going 97, I knew it. Yeah. No, right. They were. At all days, I don't scan. We were on. We were on the other side. Everything's cool. And then, um, the second they see this, oh, there's yeah. all, a crowd of people. The second they see this, they were like, yeah, sure. tape, and it's the end of the world. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? Yeah, when I heard their ship saying, I got this guy rolling. Ah, here we go. Yeah.
Sorry. So, all right. Sorry, we had a lot, uh, a lot going on right now. So we just jumped out. We're on a uh, multi-victim shooting. We've got two people shot here at the intersection of, oh, excuse me, um, Imperial and Main. I don't know if they were shot in a car. I know that we got a man and a woman uh, who were shot up over here. And I, I think it might have happened. The casings are here, but I don't know if they're in their car or not. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of a little bit of talking and figure out exactly what is going on. But that's what we got right now. And uh, there's a ton of casings. Everybody's got their guns out. Hang on. Tay, come behind me. When you see the guys running with guns, you want to look for harder cover. <laughs> this is, uh, is it this guy with the wheelchair? I think it might be this guy in the wheelchair. Is that what they're thinking? Is it the guy with the wheelchair? Is it wheelchair guy? Hey, yo! Right here! What is... Did you see anyone, Tay? I didn't see anybody. Airship's coming in. spot I think they're saying that the suspect yeah they just everybody started pulling guns out and uh, I think the guy is right here in the building they're saying the shooter might be right here so that's uh, not not great um, hey guys are we good here or no go across is the guy in the is he in the building right here We'll go across the street. I'm gonna go straight across, okay. and then is my unit fine right here for now? Okay. You got it. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Hey man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So yeah, we've got the guys in the building possibly. There's casings all the way down the street too. There's there's two piles of casings. So. There we go. You see all that down the street? You know what, Dan? I want to 
gonna be just out in the open like this. I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab the car and put it right here, okay? okay. Um, if anything goes nuts, just do your thing. Sideways pretty quick, huh? Pretty, uh, pretty wild. This turned into something crazy. Yes, this got uh, this got actually quite a bit crazier. A lot. I mean, that's how it goes, though. Everything's cool, and then then it's not. So you got to be uh, you got to be ready for it. But this is definitely um, a lot of a lot more casings than we thought. There's a pile of casings at the black car on this side, and then there's another pile of casings on the back side. So I'm assuming they're shooting at each other. Um, officers just saw the possible suspect inside the building. And that's why they ran to the rear, set up in the rear, and now this whole building is uh, is containment. So we're in a uh, a decent spot. We're far enough away. We've got enough uh, officers between us and what's going on here, and uh, and we have enough to tell the story because we were here when the uh, victim was transported. Let me get this uh, crime scene tape set up really quick. It sounds like there's uh, there's suspects in there, so we'll see we'll see how this uh, how this unfolds. But so this is gonna be a big hurry up and wait now. So take your time. All right. So as of right now, airship uh, sounds like they're coming back. Um, possibly they might be going something else. Actually, never mind. Um, they're just south of us. But. Um, Officers apparently, while we were here uh, filming that crime scene, they thought that they possibly saw a suspect inside uh, the business behind me. There is probably about 40 or 50 bullet casings out on Main Street between Imperial Highway, just, uh, sorry, uh, just north of Imperial Highway on Main. Um, there's quite a few casings, again, 30 to 40 casings. LAP's got a uh, perimeter at this point behind the building. They're probably gonna call for a canine, uh, if I had to guess, and, um, they're doing call-outs. You can hear the call-outs behind me. They're actually saying, hey, if you're inside the business, you need to come out. That's probably a pursuit where the airship is going. So uh, again, we are uh, we don't want to miss out on anything else going on. We've already got the officers you know, uh, trying to set up the perimeter. Um, we've got the transport on the victim and the um, and all the bullet casings and stuff. So um, I'll try to go back through the footage and count them up, but I think it's gonna be between 30 and 40 casings. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's a pursuit of some type, looking at the way the airship was going. He's straight line and now he's going south. So uh, we're gonna get out of here and probably go to that if it's still going. So that is it from south, uh, southeast LA. It might have happened on the on the on the expo on the bike path possibly. So they're further. Oh, they got him. Expo in Barrington. All right, they have a suspect in custody, and we're here. It looks like in time for transport. What's that rolling around over there? Do we like break something loose? Oh, it's your key. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Jeez, that speed bump almost almost was the end of us there. Let's go uh, 
let's go across. So um, it looks like we had a, uh, a shooting here on the bike path near the near the Metro Rail uh, station. We're near the 405 and uh, Exposition. The 405 is actually right there, that that freeway overpass. Um, there's a, there's a person that's already been uh, put into the ambulance right here. Um, there is a bicycle here as well. I'm assuming they were riding their bike and they got shot. Apparently, there's a suspect in custody about a half a mile that way. LA City Fire was coming down uh, to pick up our victim and they actually saw the suspect because they're listening to the police uh, frequency. They saw the suspect on the bike path. So they told LAPD where he was and, uh, and it looks like they got him in custody. So he's in custody about a half mile that way. Um, we're gonna start here at the crime scene and then we'll head down there. They might do a field show up possibly for the, uh, for the RA, which would be interesting because they said that they saw him earlier. So they might, have uh, some of the firefighters head down there to confirm that it is the guy. But uh, as of right now, it sounds like he's conscious and breathing. He's giving information to LA City and LAPD um, about the suspect and what transpired. So uh, pretty, uh, it looks like the night watch detective is just pulling up um, and uh, looks like they're taking him to Cedars. So, or sorry, this, he might go to, uh, he's probably gonna go to UCLA. So they just took our victim to the hospital. Um, the engine is going with them. I don't think they're gonna do a, uh, I don't think they're gonna do a field show up. Um, they already have a suspect in custody and, uh, <laughs> sorry, they already have a suspect in custody and uh, they seem, they're probably pretty confident about that. So again, we'll head, uh, we'll head down there and see what's up. Nightwatch detective just showed up. He's the guy with the uh, uh, OD, uh, OD pants and body armor, so. Um, there's a sergeant here, so once they uh, once they talk and figure out what they've got going, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to uh, speak with him and, and get details on our victim. Because again, we didn't see him. We don't know if it's a male, female. We have we have no clue right now. So we'll talk uh, we'll talk with him and get some more info, and then we'll uh, we'll get on out of here because this is pretty uh, pretty open shot. Once the suspect is in custody, this is pretty pretty um, pretty straightforward. So that's what we got. That's where we're at. Hey Sarge. <laughs> before, before you get out of here, sorry to bother you. It's okay. Um, we didn't actually see the victim, so I just need to know if it's a male, female, or you know, basically what we know about the, the yeah. circumstances. Yeah. So okay, so it was a male, um, bicyclist. Okay. Two bicyclists are traveling 
dome here. Well, okay. One of them hits the other one up. Who are you with? Oh, okay. So a gang things. thing? Well, it could be. Okay. And then it could also be narcotics related because there's a bag of, it looks like a bag of rock cocaine there. Gotcha. One okay. bullet uh, hole in the, uh, or bullet injury to his abdomen. Okay. So he All can right. transport to the hospital. Expected to survive, obviously. Um, well, no, not really. I no? Don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm no doctor. So <laughs> you just, you never know. They, right? they always ask. It's know. true. Right. It's true. Yeah, you okay. So, um, possible suspect in custody. Okay. Suspect fled westbound on a, on the bicycle. I heard that LA, LA City saw them. LAFD saw, saw them. Saw a possible suspect. Gotcha. It, it, it relayed that information. Mm. <clears throat> Responding units were able to, um, instead of coming all here, which we're not trying to do that anyways, but canvassing the area. Mm came across a, a possible suspect okay, cool. who is now in custody. Awesome. Sergeant, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. It's always good to have the facts. Good <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, uh, where'd you go? I lost you. All right, I'll come around that side. So, the... The information uh, right now per the sergeant is just what we heard. LA City Fire saw a possible suspect about a half mile down on the uh, on the bike path. There's two two bicyclists got into some type of confrontation, and uh, there is a bag of narcotics on the ground over there. So uh, it kind of makes it tough for us because if it's a if it's a drug deal gone sideways, then you know nobody's gonna <laughs> nobody's gonna run that. But um, if it is a uh, if it is an innocent uh, victim, and maybe they got into a fight or something like that, then okay. And uh, and like the sergeant said, it's actually pretty funny. He said that he's he's not a doctor, uh, as as we are not as well. Um, but usually, you know, gunshot to the abdomen is is survivable, especially in the city, considering how close we are to hospitals and stuff like that. Um, not to mention the medical care while they're en route. Um, however. Uh, he's right. This just because they were conscious and breathing and seem to be okay right now does not mean that they uh, they will be. So um, we're still going to do our due diligence. We're going to do uh, get a couple extra shots uh, just to the crime scene. That's why the sticks are out. And then um, once we get that, then we're going to take off. But again, we will mention the bag of narcotics. We'll we'll put all the information in the story. And if the uh, if the station so decide to run with it, cool. If they don't, then uh, you know why. So. Let's do that, and then we'll uh, and then we'll get out of here. Oh, that's pretty good. Good round, sir. And yeah, I'm gonna be code six. Pretty major, uh, pretty major TC. I'll be out of the vehicle. Just pump the pumps, yeah. Oh, that's pretty rough. Oh, you're, you're gonna roll on this? Yeah. Uh, we're doing, uh, sorry. Hey, there you go. They're doing CPR over there, but it's gonna be one, uh, one DOA it looks like, and they're gonna try to transport, so. Pretty, uh, pretty rough. Uh, it's a, it looks like a either single or two car TC right now, but it sounds like three victims. So, oh boy, pretty rough. Definitely, uh, definitely high speeds. That car is uh, decimated. Pretty rough, pretty rough. Jesus. That is rough. Like 
a uh, it's like a bomb went off. That poor woman's crying. She uh, might have lost somebody just now. They still have one victim trapped. So pretty uh, very high speeds here. Probably. What do you think, Tay? The whole front of that car is gone. Probably 80 mile an hour crash. Yeah, they're doing they're doing CPR over there. That's rough. That's, uh, that's pretty rough. I've been here since pretty much the beginning. What do you think, 80, 80 miles an hour? A lot more than that. You think more? 100? Easily. Jeez. That front end of the black car is just fucking wasted. It's gone. It's missing. Where Where is the front of the car? I think it's all in the street. It's behind the uh, truck? Possibly. Holy cow. Uh... Ten minutes now. Jesus. What what direction are we talking here? We're going. I don't know. We're going north. No. This doesn't make sense. Maybe. No, south southbound and then southbound. and then this way. Yeah, and then yeah. they hit, spun around. What's that? Yeah, uh, my partner here said they've been doing it for about ten minutes. So. Yeah, this is this is. Yeah, there's some. It looks like somebody's still trapped here, and I think everybody's out of there. So it's it's hard to say, even how they ended up here. So. Right, right. Did you see it or? No, but I heard oh, okay. a crash. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Must have sounded like an explosion yeah, going on. It was sound like a train wreck. Wow. It was it, you hurt, 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 you know, bam, bam, bam. Oh, this is awful because there's a fatality there. Yeah. Yeah, people driving too fast. Of course. Yeah, always. So you said 10, 10 on him. Is it a female or a male, the one on this, looks on the like ground? A male. Male, okay. I haven't had a really clear shot of him, but okay. it looked like a male. It 10 like minutes? They were, yeah, they were working on 10 minutes? It looked like they were ready to pronounce him, and then they started doing CPR on him. It's because you showed up. Because it's not. Yeah, this is uh, possibly one of the... So this is probably in the top... Uh, McCormick supervisor here. This is probably in the top 10... Maybe top twenty accidents that we've uh, that we've covered with with two vehicles like this, and now we have to move. Do we? Yeah, we to the third stick to there we go. Get in the way. Thanks, thanks, McCormick. Fantastic. Surprised they're letting traffic through here. I know. That, really, I've been really surprised. Thinking the same thing. Yeah. Really surprised. Can I go to the right a little, Steve? Or this, huh? can I go to the right a little bit? Yeah. Now that this. Yeah. No, great timing. Sorry. <laughs> no. Now that this guy's out of the way. Now. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably. All right. See the empty uh, gurney. It's really sad because that's the that's the gurney that that individual was going to be on if he had survived. He or she, we're, we're not sure, but um, that's that's what they would have been loaded onto. So to see that leave empty is pretty uh, pretty rough. So let's uh, get a couple more shots of. Uh, wow, it's just that car is just destroyed. Unreal, actually. Both cars. All right, let's get a little bit out of the uh, smoke here. Jeez. car was going through the flares. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, tell you look, they've, they've, the lights, look it. They're synchronized. They're doing the thing. Yeah. We were talking about that. I think it's a, it's a federal signal thing where the lights, uh, the lights blink at the same time when they're near each other. It's kind of, kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually nuts, this whole, this whole scene here. I would say, I would say top 20. I don't know which one you're top. Uh, oh, single, single vehicle crash? Probably the Corvette, right? It would have to be. Yeah, it would have to be the Corvette. this incident I, I couldn't even tell you what direction we're talking here again we have an airship over us also so I think there might be a pursuit heading this way um, we've got the two vehicles involved there were two females that we saw uh, transported one that was trapped in the sedan and I, I'm not sure if the other one was in the SUV the assumption is that she was and then we've got one uh, deceased uh, who uh, Steve was saying is a is a male so it, it's a pretty uh, I was saying this is in probably the top 20 um, accident scenes that we've been to again you know, speed speed is always a factor in stuff like this um, well as Jeremy Clarkson would say the sudden stop not so much the speed but um, somebody probably running a red um, the tri lights are out here but the box uh, that controls the lights was taken out so there would be no way for us to know at this point if the lights were out beforehand obviously um, you know, they're gonna conduct their investigation. We've got uh, one unit from El Segundo here, the rest from uh, Gardena. They're gonna do their investigation, figure out if drugs or alcohol are involved, and then, uh, and then that's gonna be it. This is uh, just a really, really sad accident. Um, again, speed is definitely, uh, again, just from, from my experience covering accident scenes, I would say that speed's definitely a factor on this one. I mean, that, the whole front of that car is gone, so. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get some more uh, some more static shots, um, and uh, and we're gonna get out of here. So another uh, another unfortunate and probably we're gonna find out preventable uh, loss of life out here in uh, kind of south LA. This is the Harbor Gateway area, so south of south of Los Angeles. So we're on to the next one.
90 miles an hour on the on the freeway Let me here. Know what we're up to dinner. Holy moly. Clear link copy C report GSW Washington and Broadway on the corporate yeah, way near uh, extended from South Long Beach. Wow. Twenty miles an hour on the uh, on the off ramp. That's uh, that's pretty pretty impressive. All right, we're heading to a report of a shooting. Uh, LAFD is responding. Clearly, uh, the engine the engine is staged here at the corner. And uh, <laughs> okay, uh, and here's the here's the RA. But they're they're gonna stage behind us here, if I had to guess. So, it's a shooting in an apartment. They're staging right here at the at the corner with the engine. So, all right, shooting at an apartment. They're saying apartment number six um, is where the victim is. I don't know if it's self-inflicted or not. We have no further information. However, however, uh, we will check it out. So, we're gonna park over here and. Uh, Oh, there's like a church across the street. Could probably go over there. Because we don't know quite what we what we have yet. Alrighty. And I didn't see which one it is, but Alrighty. It's gonna take a minute before they clear FD to enter, so we got time. What? Huh? Oh, it's the Holman Church. That's right. How cool is that? All right. So let's see. Let's see what we got. So, some of the guys went up to the second floor, um, but now I see officers with their guns drawn looking here at the first floor, so. Ooh, it's getting windy and cold. It's great out here. I hate it. Nothing. No? That just said it was 50 by 50. Oh, great, well. Uh, that's annoying. Division out here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Well, hopefully you're right. Hold on, okay. Welcome to my church. You can you can come down uh, whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yep. BS call. All right. I'll catch you later. So yeah, not uh, not legitimate. Why do people call in and say things like that? Can you imagine? I, there's been a shooting. I, why? I don't. I don't understand why. What's the reason? What's the reason? You got all these guys. You got the whole freaking uh, Wilshire Division out here for nothing. Unbelievable. You know. It's just a, it's a waste of resources, big time. Big time, big time. All right. <laughs> Late to the party, huh? 
That's fun. Oh boy. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable.